Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms has been at the forefront of the racial equality movement that's been sweeping our nation while also dealing with the coronavirus cases in her city. And she joins us this morning uh, to talk about it. Mayor, welcome and thank you for talking with us again. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's dig in here. Yesterday, we learned an advisory council that, that you put together to look at Atlanta police has already released some of its recommendations and already you're moving forward. What can you tell us about the changes already being made? So the irony of this is that we had heeded a call from President Obama to create an advisory council to look at our use of force policies. And we met for the first time about three days before the killing of Mr. Brooks. And so what it really highlighted for us again is that we don't have time to wait to begin to make changes in our um, police department. And so we convened this advisory committee. They gave us 10 recommendations Three, we have already enacted. The next few weeks, we'll have input from the community, and it's in addition to some other executive orders that I issued uh, to really get our, our police department in line with where we are with the rest of the country. Hmm. On Wednesday, the three men who were arrested last month for the murder uh, and other crimes in connection with the Mott Arbery were indicted on murder charges. What is your response to the indictment and what's the message that you think this will send? Um, I'm encouraged by their indictment, and I'm also encouraged that the Georgia state legislature has passed a hate crimes bill. This was a huge step in our state because we were one of only four states that did not have a hate crimes bill. But the unfortunate part of this is this is all coming in response to tragedies throughout our communities with Mr. Brooks and with Mr. Aubrey. And so I think this is an opportunity for us in the midst of this movement that's happening across the country for us to continue to be proactive and not reactive to tragedies in the way that we've had to do over the past few months. You've mentioned Mr. Brooks on Tuesday. I know you attended uh, the funeral of Rashard Brooks, and we saw really an emotional moment uh, when you comforted his widow, Tamika Miller. Uh, what words of, of comfort were you able to offer her, and, and what was it like for you to be there? Wow. Uh, she is an incredibly strong woman. It was a very emotional service, a beautiful service. You'll also see my 12-year-old son in that picture. And he asked me if he could attend the services with me. And after the services, mm. he said he was a really good-looking man. He seemed to be a really nice man, and he didn't deserve to die that way. And for mm. the entire Brooks family— um, Ms. Miller made one simple request, and that request was that his death not be in vain. And so I'm still carrying that in my mind and on my heart, and we're going to keep pushing forward. And just even having my son there was my reminder that our kids are watching us and they're counting on us to get this right. Absolutely. I think you resonate with so many people because you are multitasking. You're a mom. You're also the mayor of this of this huge city. COVID-19 is obviously still an issue. We've just seen uh, reporting on cases that are rising in Georgia. And it's interesting because a huge chunk of them, as you know, are now adults under 30. Um, so what would you would you pause Atlanta's reopening uh, if you have to? And, and what's your take on this on COVID-19? Well, Atlanta had a phase reopening um, in place. We um, were a bit different in the state because, of course, the governor um, moved forward with the state's plans with reopening, but we made recommendations to businesses in the city of Atlanta. Our phase reopening is still a very conservative approach. Thankfully, we still have a number of businesses, including a number of our Fortune 500 companies who are headquartered in Atlanta, who are still abiding by the phased approach that we have in place. And so I have an 18-year-old in the house as well. I know it's going to be very difficult to put that genie back in the bottle as people are out moving around. But what we are doing is just encouraging people. And what I'm hearing from the experts, Dr. Del Rio at Emory University, the best defense that we have right now is to wear masks, and that's something that the governor and I are aligned on. So we're just asking people to the extent that you are out and about, please be unselfish and put on a mask. All right. I have seven seconds left, but you know I have to end by asking you. Of course, your name has been floated as a potential VP candidate. Can you give us any updates on those developments? 
No, I can't. Um, I, I read and see everything that you probably read and see as well. And so I'll just refer you to the Biden campaign for updates on that. <laughs> Fair enough. To say you are busy is an understatement. So, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms, thank you for talking with us this morning. Thank you. Always good to see you.